Alright, here we go. It looks like we have resolved the controller issues and we're getting into it now. Things seem to be good. Definitely will pass on that shout out to uh, to Greg after the match for you, Buck. I'll be sure to put in the request for King as well. Hang on here, joining me on the mic. Speaking of King players, we have the one, the only. I don't Speed. play King, what are you talking about? I dropped him. I dropped him like a dirty habit. Just like Renma dropped anime. His very, very particular definition of anime. <laughs> oh no, he, he just hates anime in general. Can confirm. So seeing these two play again, we really, we really got to talk to to Metagame when he when he does these these seeds. I mean, as much as I do love to see Renma and DS Bro play, you know, it's a lot. Ooh, see him but every week. But he's breaking out the keys this time. He played King last time. I'm really interesting, interested to see how this goes because um, Renma he he has a lot of focus on a kind of kind of like a set play sort of style, yeah. and uh, characters well, with counters really really mess with him. And I mean, Geese is counter city, so uh, watch for DS Bro to to really punish a lot of uh, those the, the, the more obvious buttons. Well, Renma himself has confirmed that he hasn't practiced anything on the season two patch yet, so uh, might uh, might so mess him up. He's not going to have optimal wall bounce combos. Who doesn't have those? Me. That's who. Your names are backwards. Yes, we'll swap that. Thank you, Simon. There we go. So, quick round for the Ren Man. The Ren Manimal. And we're going to get a nice little combo here. Ooh. Caught him pushing the button on a wake up. Man, it's a launch. And you can take him to the wall. I'll see what he can do. 70% gone already. Ooh, okay. That's wall position. Man, Geese is cool. Renma doing a really good job of blocking there, not just cracking uh, as all these buttons are coming out. But now DS Pro is gonna, gonna pick him up, slam him down, pick him up, put him down. And comes in and closes it with the elbow. Round three. Fight. Nice, uh, like some nice low buttons in order to, to open it up. Making sure DS Bro watches oh, his Okay. Threw him right at, oh, and there's the low parry, but he was he was too busy looking at Renma, giving him the thumbs up, and he dropped the combo after the low parry. And a little too cute there. Picks him up, puts him down. Man, Buck must be in chat watching this and just furious at the amount of people that are getting picked up and put back down. Interesting option in the air fireball. Close it up with the stomp. I like that. Keep it simple. Round four. Fight. Ooh, a nice little shove. A nice rocket. Oh, we're going to get a little FADC action. Ooh, we're going to rep Ooken. Yes, we're so good at getting damage off Great hit. round from DS, bro. Very clean, very, very solid. Fight. Oh, and there's the low with the stomp. Ooh. Pick him up, put him down. Chidori! And this should be it. And game one goes to Renma. 3-2, pretty close game. I'd say so, yeah. Definitely, though, we'll see as this goes on. And like you said, Renma is a bit of a, uh, a set play player. And with the amount of experience DS Pro has in this matchup, and specifically against Renma, I'm sure he'll be able to figure this out. So Max has got to go deeper into the bag of tricks. Oh, that's nice. That must have been a high crush. And we're going to get him all the way to the wall. So what are we going to do here? A little dive kick, clicks him off, puts him down. <laughs> He stays in the air for a long ass time with those air fireballs. Oh, managed to drop it. Probably the, the weird uh, the weird wall positioning messed him up there. A little savage stance into a low. And that plus. Oh, and he manages to backdash. Nice good option off of blocking a rage and drive. Oh, here we go. Time to start that offense. And hits him low. Oop, there it is. Round two. Fight. 
Morty will forever be Ottawa in his heart. Oh, tried again to go for the high crush. Probably expected uh, Renma to go with a similar set play like he was doing before. Uh, managed to block it there, and it turned into an advantageous situation for him. Got the life lead. Nice little throw to get that corner position. DFO making good use of backdash, and he's gonna get. Oh, takes him off the wall, picks him up, puts him down, gives him the Chidori, and probably just gonna keep him at bay with Rapukins. And there it is. Round three. Fight. Oh, nice combo to start the round. Wants him to know round start is not free. Backdash is out of the way of that very slow button, and now he's gonna he's gonna move him. Uh, no walls to protect him now. Max really needs to move around here. Going down 3 0 definitely be able to And. Chidori! Just as I say that, he's on the other side. You win. Stay down. See if Max can stay strong and not crack. Round one. He's susceptible to the tilt by his own fight. So we're looking at a nice little 1-1. One, one, uh, unsafe button. I think the F-Bro could have gotten a bit more there, but it doesn't matter because he got his ass shoved. Nice little Oki with the big boot from Renma. DS Bro making a good job of just you know chipping away at him each time he wakes up, but this is gonna be a big bunch of damage. Gets him to the wall. A couple quick stomps, making liberal use of those lows as Renma. Here we go, takes it. Round a, uh, a great degree of mental strength. Fun. A round open hot kick goes unpunished. And that's a little, that a high crush move from this again. Gonna get him all the way to the wall. And didn't go for the dive kick. I'm wondering if that's an input error. Or maybe he was like trying to get some Oki or something. So I saw last time he had that situation. Uh, he jumped up and uh, did a dive kick. Oh, KO. Round three. Fight. And round open with the shove. I wonder if that little string is plus. Yeah, uh, he definitely pushed the risky button there, and it looked like DS Bro tried to challenge it and ended up getting uh getting punished for his trouble. We're playing Nooch, boys. Elbows. Round four. We got Nooch. Fight. Sir Isaac Nooching. That puts his geese has elbows. <laughs> and this, oh, that was going to be a chunk of damage, but a little timing error. But now he's sitting on level three max mode. So he can do some crazy stuff here. Nice, uh, nice max mode cancel <coughs> in order to keep the pressure up. Ooh, good throw tech from the Ren, from the Ren man. Okay, that must be plus because again he baited him into pushing a button after that little string and got punished for it. So he's gonna go down. Goes mid. Good break. Okay. You know what? I didn't want to say it because it would have been cooler if it happened, but I really thought Ren, uh, DS Bro was gonna do a. Um, like punish uh, one of Renma's buttons with a Rage Art, you know, a Rage Art punish, take advantage of that armor. He could have had it there when the big boot was coming out. He had more than enough time, but, you know, in sort of that moment, you're thinking about other things and you want to be as safe as possible. No need to just do it. Ooh, we have Max Mode Cancel Fireballs. And then we're going to go to big old Repukin. Renma's got to figure it out here. Next take will kill him. Oh, he manages to get the hop kick, the desperation hop kick. And you can see uh, DS Bro visibly shook like that. This won't kill, but this is going to do a big ass amount of damage. Don't worry, this won't kill. So uh, we've got one mix up here. So we're going to have to see what this is. And the mix up is just run in and push buttons. Renma takes it over, DS Bro. Look at the exhilaration of that man's face. Look at the relief. <laughs> Buck thought it was going to end with a sweep. It did not. Okay, I need to go play BB Tag and uh, get out of here real quick.